we've got a couple things that we're checking out today. Um, if you look on my Fat Shark headset, you're going to see a completely different antenna set up. So what we got going on here is a Voss uh, Crosshair 10 dBi directional antenna. This thing is fucking incredible. Um, and then next to it we have the new, newest, hottest uh, FPV antenna that's out right now, a Pagoda. Lumineer Pagoda. So, um, gotta be honest, I've never had video reception like I did. I mean, I swapped out my antennas thinking they had pretty decent, you know. Um, reception before thinking you know maybe we'll see a nominal difference but no it's like crisper and clearer than I've ever seen before so no matter where I fly but of course that was just with tiny whoops so I'm excited to try it with a real quad now um, and the other thing we got going on which is kind of cool is I figured out a way to put some pitch on the vortex 150 uh, while I mounted an HD camera see my little funny setup here I got the Fox Ear Legend 2. I got a piece of hard foam that I molded to act as a uh, incline for the camera. And then I strapped it all down with a uh, rubber band that needs to be adjusted a little bit. And I'm going to put a piece of double sided um, GHB tape on the bottom under here just to anchor the back so it won't slide off. And we should be good to go. Oh, one thing I didn't know until I bought this is that this clear rubber grommet that protects the Foxer camera is glow in the dark, which is pretty damn cool. It glows blue. So um, if, if you charge it up with some light and then you go do some night flying, um, you'll be able to find it if it ejects pretty easily because it glows this really neat blue color. So anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. Testing out the Pagoda, the Voss Crosshair, and uh, what it looks like with some pitch on some 10 uh, HD footage on the Vortex. So, and as you can see, I still got them rocking these Lumineer pink props. These are my favorite props, so I'm gonna keep rocking them. The only other issue I have is, if you can see, looks like we cracked another piece of carbon. I just bought this carbon frame, a carbon top plate for 30 bucks, they're not cheap. And because they are out of standoffs and screws, uh, where one of the screws broke off, uh, you can see the carbon has cracked there, even though I, haven't, I don't even think I've crashed anywhere with this. So, kind of bizarre there, but whatever. So, thanks for watching, and stay tuned.